Hi, we're here at the 2013 Los Angeles Z-Day Social Mixer with Daryl from ET3. How are you? Hi, pleasure to meet you, Summer. Thank you so much for coming. So you're speaking tomorrow regarding ET3. Can you tell us a little bit about ET3 and what you hope ET3 will help achieve for the future? Yes, ET3 is a new form of transportation that can achieve about 50 times more transportation per kilowatt hour of electrical energy than the most efficient electric car or electric train. And it's faster than jets and more con as convenient as cars. Car-sized vehicles can be automatically routed anywhere in the network once the system is built. That sounds awesome. So in a resource-based economy, how do you think ET3 technologies could improve the world and make life better for everyday people like you and me? Well, we see that a good share of the, of the uh, economy is not resource-based and based on fiat currencies. However, we think that most of the economy really is based on the true resources. And the resource that really allows us to live a better life is the oil resource that fuels our transportation. We think we're dependent on the oil, but what we really depend on is the transportation. If we can't get to food and water, or food and water can't be brought to us, we perish. So we see the economy really being based, right now, everybody believes it's based on oil. But in reality, it's not the oil that it's based on, it's what that oil does for us, which is transportation, moving goods and people um, between places efficiently and effectively. We can remove the dependency of transportation and oil and accomplish about 50 times more transportation per kilowatt hour of electrical energy. So in an economy that is um, where resources are distributed um, unevenly, like some countries have a lot of oil and some countries have a lot of fruit production and some countries um, you know, have a lot of mineral resources and mining materials and stuff. So in a globalized economy, it's transportation that allows those resources to be distributed efficiently and effectively so you don't have all these price mismatches on a global market. So, um, it, you know, it, it makes the, uh, uh, the markets much more transparent in the long term and, and uh, um, people have access to uh, uh, much lower cost, uh, high quality life. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but... Uh, that sounds great. So, I think that evac tube travel could shorten travel time, is that correct? Correct. Um, once, if everything's built to the same standard, like the railroads were in the United States back in the mid-1800s, you had a lot of railroads that were built with a narrow gauge and some with a wide gauge and some with a standard gauge and nothing could be networked together. So it's really important to build those all the same diameter and the same size. So eventually it can be networked together on a global basis. It will start out at slow speeds. If it's built to the same standard in every country, it can eventually be networked together on a global basis at 4,000 miles an hour. The first systems will be 350 to 700, and 700 miles an hour in that, in that range above ground. And then the high-speed systems connecting everything together, if everything's built to the same standard in every country and in every nation, it can eventually be networked together. So a person could travel from New York City up across Canada, across the Bering Strait, to uh, um, Beijing, China, in only two hours' time. A hundred bucks round trip. That sounds extremely exciting. Or you could get from here in L.A. to uh, um, New York in 45 minutes. A tenth of the cost of flying. What does the future look like for you? How do you envision it if E3, ET3 EVAC tube system is the normal, everyday form of transportation for everyone? What kind of a future do you envision with that being our usual way of travel? What I envision is that the developing nations now, the, the impoverished, that, that uh, cannot directly access markets will have um, accessibility and, and able to sustainably enjoy a standard of living that we enjoy here in this country without all the pressures on the environment and without the, uh, um, the limits of resources, um, oil resources that, that, that transportation depends on. So when, when um, developing nations can have this sustainable standard of living that we enjoy in this country, it will enable a, a, 
a, a standard of living in the developed countries that put that into place that we can't even imagine. If you could imagine a 20-hour work week, for instance, work two 10-hour days and have the rest of the week off. That's the type of productivity that ET3 and automation and, and you know a future vision like the Zeitgeist movement uh, of what we can do positive and sustainable, um, both for the environment and for people, we, we can all enjoy um, a, a very high quality of life. That sounds like the kind of life I want. Thank you, Daryl, so much. We really appreciate having you here, and it's really looking forward to hearing more about ET3 tomorrow. Thank you so much. Great.